Hi there. I want to do a video about DTS Monaco 9 and uh, connecting it with open port cable. So this is a open port cable from China and here I have installed DTS Monaco for Mercedes. Let me open my laptop. I have already tested this program and seems to work really good with uh, my E-Class from 2018, the beginning of 2018. And you have to install some uh, registers to use open port let me plug the obd port and here i have dts9 So this is a 2018 E-Class, the beginning of 18. And here you can see that I have already worked a little bit with DTS-9. And you can see here I have configured open port. So here you can add a new interface. And you can go to this plus here and you can write a name. For example, I've already done mine. Here it is and it's already connected. But just to know and then go next. Then you have to choose softing and then the cable J2534 and then this one here and you will see open port from Tactrix then go to next then select CAN1 then OK I'm not going to do it because I've already done it and this is how you do it but when you install the program let me find a better angle you are not going to be able to find those uh, open port option and what you will need let me check So this one here is the register that you have to start. You have to merge. Just press yes. And then you are going to be able to show it in uh, DTS Monaco interface option. And then you can uh, configure your open port. So different from the DTS Monaco 8 here you are going to need those projects to work you cannot work with simple files or with only one files like uh, like in the old DTS 8 and here you can open the workspace and you are going to select the card that you are going to to work on for example in my case is 2213 just double click it and you are going to see all the ECUs on this car for example let's go to head unit my head unit is uh, head unit 55 
Hi. So this one here, double click it. And here you have uh, the TTS one aqua nine, but I like more the the view of the old TTS Monaco because of this space is for nothing here but you can you can do something about it here minimize those big empty spaces now as you can see we are not connected but if I'm going to variant coding and I connect then you are going to see we are in diagnosis here and here you have all the codes of your head unit let me do just a simple code for example I'm going to change the language so my language now is in Eng English. Let's change it to German. And then you have to press to coding. But different from uh, DTS 8, uh, this one is going to reboot during the coding. So, as you can see, now it's doing a reboot and the coding is not not yet done but here you can see the language is in German so it's already changed and this is in German this is how you can do coding here so it's almost the same as the older one here is the diagnose section so you can read the ID the information of your head unit here you can see the software there is that is installed so this is the same as in the older DTS sorry for this uh, glare light in display okay now let me talk about the security levels on this DTS Monaco I was able to scan and code no, uh, newer cars than, than mine as well but uh, something else that you can do is that uh, you can install those certificates on Zenzefi I don't know the name of those how to pronounce it but let me show you here you can see start Zenzefi and here you can see that I already uh, installed some uh, certificates these are newer ones and you will have to update those certificates in order to code some newer cars because of the security levels you can just update those and you will be good you can find those uh, certificates online sometimes you have to pay for those those are really expensive and they are going to last maybe for a few weeks so you can see that uh, DTS Monaco 9 is working with open port and I already showed you how to do the configuration here you can read if there is a code 
and here you can see that I have uh, three problems so the first one is false and these three are true this is because of the retrofit that I have done and the internet connection network event internet connection certificate event so these are not problems that uh, are going to affect my usage of this head unit so I don't care about those but uh, you can read uh, different uh, ECUs with this program as well for example you can code or read the fault codes for the engine and every other uh, ECU so here from this failure this mean fault codes so DTS Monaco is working really good with uh, open port and E-Class you just have to install it, install the projects and then merge this uh, register for open port. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, till the next video.